Hello everyone, welcome back and today we will discuss about that what are haptans in immunology and the term immunogenicity and antigenicity will also be discussed in this lecture. So let's get started. So before going into haptans, first of all it should be clear to us that what are antigens. So antigen is a substance which is generally foreign to body which just activate our immune system. And these antigens they generally include that is bacteria, viruses, fungi and proteins. So any foreign substance which activate the immune system is known as the antigen. There are the two terms related to this antigen. First is the immunogenicity. So immunogenicity is the you can say it is the power or ability of an antigen to activate the immune system. Means if an antigen can activate the immune system. So we can say that that antigen has the power of immunogenicity. So generally all immunogens they are antigens. The second term is antigenicity. So in contrast to immunogenicity, the antigenicity you can say it is the ability of antigen that it can interact with immune cell but it is not able to activate the immune system. Means when antigen is weak. So that it can only interact with the immune cells but after interaction there will be no immune response. So that power is known as antigenicity. All antigens are not immunogen. Why? Because if antigen activate the immune system, so that antigen can also be called as immunogen. So that's why we can say that all antigens cannot be immunogen but all immunogens are antigen. Why? Because immunogenicity is the power to activate the immune system. So if one can activate the immune system that can also act as antigen. But antigenicity is the ability just to interact with the immune cells but not able to activate the immune system. So that is known as the antigenicity. Now let's discuss that what are haptans. These are also called as sometimes incomplete antigens. So as I told that some antigens they can only interact with the immune cells but they are unable or they cannot activate the immune response. So that weak antigens, these weak antigens are known as haptans or sometimes as incomplete antigen. Why? Because they are not able to activate the immune response. They can only interact with the immune cells but they cannot activate the immune system. So these weak antigens are known as haptans. But how we can make these haptans immunogenic means how we can able these haptans or weak antigens to activate the immune system. So generally for this we attach these haptans with certain carrier molecules. These carrier molecules are generally proteins. Now once they are attached with the carrier molecules, so now the immune system start recognizing these haptans and you can say it starts showing the immune response. So generally haptans, you can say the certain examples of haptans are in front of you like urishol, biotin, biotin, digoxygenin, dinitrophenol, etc. So these are certain examples of Haptans. In the next slide, we will, you can say, we will learn about the mechanism that how haptans generally act. So, let's take example like these red dots, they represent the haptans or you can say these represent the weak antigens. So, when this hepton, it is injected into an organism like here we are taking the example of mouse. So, if these haptans, they are injected into the mouse so there will be no immune response. So why because these were very weak antigens which are known as haptans. So haptans they cannot activate the immune response by themselves. But how we can make them immunogenic? So in this case if a haptans these haptans if these are mixed with or you can say if these are attached on the carrier molecule which are generally protein molecules. Now this hepton and the carrier molecule complex, if now this complex is injected into the same organism, so after injection, now there will be production of three kinds of antibody inside this animal. First antibody, they will be against the carrier because this carrier was also protein. So antibody against this carrier will also be produced. 
second kind of antibody will be against these heptans because either it was you can say although it was weak but it was antigen so the antibody against this heptan will also be produced and third type of antibody will be against this complete complex that is heptan and carrier complex so in this way the antibody against heptan will also be produced as you see in case of second kind of antibody these are specific against heptan so now you can see that the heptan which was not able to activate the immune response with the help of carrier molecule now it will be able to activate the immune response so this that was all about that what are heptans and the what are the basic term immunogenicity and antigenicity and how these heptans can be turned into immunogen or you can say how they are turned into that substance which can activate the immune system so that was all about the heptons and that's all for today guys thank you very much